number one cause for water intrusion into the basement, bar nothing, is the fact that quite often the downspouts coming down the side of the house are not properly drained away from the house. Sometimes, more often than not, we find that these downspouts are not connected to leader pipes, or if they are connected to a leader pipe, there's a gap here where it actually is overflowing and coming down along the foundation. And because of that, you'll get a lot of water washing, and then it even comes down along through and starts to bow out a wall. That water all being dumped along the foundation comes right on inside, and that's why we have problems with mold and issues of termites and that inside the basement. As you recall on the outside, we had an issue with water being dumped along the foundation because of a faulty leader system that was connected to the downspout. As that water begins to wash along the foundation after it continues to do that for quite some time and eventually it begins to work its way into the foundation and that. We would not have noticed that so much right up about, uh, other than the fact we've seen some mold along the paneling and that. When we asked for that to be removed and, that, and after removing it, you can see all along through here the water stains along the base of the foundation and the water stains coming down the foundational wall. What happens is quite often that people think of the water coming into the basement as long as they kept their stuff up out of the dry and that they don't think it's a huge problem, but they don't realize that what's going on behind that wall. This paneling and stuff had a lot of mold on it, so we asked for it to be removed. Once it did, we were able to see all the water coming in through here, but we also noticed a whole new uh, problem in that, and that's with the introduction of termites. As you can see along through here, the termite channels begin to go up through the stud. They, what termites will do is they'll come in and, and they'll go up. More often, they'll go up than across. You can see this is all pretty solid here. There's not a whole lot of damage here. Some of the trails on the outside here, if we pull this insulation back, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. The, t the tunnels that are along here, we break those loose to see if there's any kind of termite activity going on inside of there. And then we also want to be able to separate that so that at a later point we can see if they're rebuilding those tunnels. We're going to break all those up just to make sure that they're not here. And here you can see a huge section of where the termites have actually built a nest inside of there where it gets into a real problem, and that is when it gets up above and into the silt plate. As you can see here, there's a tremendous amount of damage in that. This is the actual plates that are structurally holding the floor joists for the second floor up there. And they have done a lot of damage to here. In fact, these plates are completely gone. This does become a structural issue. But one of the things we want to address uh, as far as mold issues, as far as termites in that, in a basement is the moisture problems due to downspouts not draining properly and patio concrete slabs draining towards the house and the drain as we'll see right outside the house and that that is actually plugged up and not draining properly. One of the areas that we find uh, water intrusion into the basement at is caused from basement stairwells not draining properly in that. In fact if you would see here as the water comes down through here we see a lot of debris build up on top of the steps and that that's from stuff washing down up over the steps and then there's supposed to be a drain in this area here for the water to drain away. If you look here and that as we kick a bunch of the stuff away in that we'll see that there is a drain down underneath it here but with all the debris that was built up around it and that the water was puddling here and actually running into the basement. If you look through the side here and that you'll see as I can put my uh, point through the whole way through the frame here and that, that's where water has just continued to come in and come in and come in and has rotted this out. And that's where we get a uh, problem with issues with water getting into the basement, soaking into the walls and the interior, presenting a mold issue, um, and also an introduction for termites to come into the house. Another one of the issues we see for water intrusion into the basement and that is patios that come up right against the house and that, and that are not properly sealed, where they butt up against the house, or if the actual slab is draining towards the house. If you look along here, you can see how this slab is actually dropping from about midway there where the uh, joint is to here. There's a three and a half inch drop. So all that water is draining this way. You can see that where the ice is built up here. And that, that water drains down in through here, comes back down into the inside here, and comes into the basement.